It's a report that sounds as exciting as it is outlandish. An analysis of observations made by the James Webb Telescope has revealed that our entire universe could be inside a black hole. But how is that even possible? After all, these bizarre gravitational monsters are known to literally destroy everything. Or are they? Well, not necessarily. In fact, the new data suggests that our cosmos was born in the heart of such a mass monster. But what exactly did Webb discover? And what does the find mean for our overall understanding of the universe? Stay tuned until the end if you want to know if we are really trapped in a black hole. In our everyday lives, we are exposed to a wide variety of impressions. Whether idyllic landscapes, bustling cities, or even mundane things like the clouds in the sky. But have you ever wondered where it all comes from? What the exact origin of all this is? Well, from a purely astronomical point of view, the answer to this question seems clear. Most researchers are still convinced that the universe and everything that came into being in it later was born in the context of the much-cited Big Bang. Accordingly, space, time, and matter emerged from an original singularity around 13.8 billion years ago. But how can we be so sure of this today? Well, quite simply because the cosmos has had the characteristic of constantly expanding since its creation. And if we now look at the expansion of the universe backwards, we can calculate back to the point at which the universe was compressed into a single tiny point. For the sake of completeness, however, it should be noted at this point that, strictly speaking, the Big Bang theory does not deal with the Big Bang itself, but with the development of the early cosmos immediately afterwards. But if we now look beyond the theoretical box, a completely different question arises. Is there actually any tangible evidence for the Big Bang? Well, apparently so. The outstanding argument that experts cite in this regard is called cosmic microwave background radiation and refers to an almost isotropic, or in other words, direction-independent radiation that fills the entire universe and originated about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Despite all the radiation relics that have been detected, we must not forget that the established Big Bang theory is still accompanied by some big questions. These mainly concern the how and why of it all. What actually led to the sudden emergence of something out of nothing 13.8 billion years ago? Can anything arise out of nothing at all? How was the tiny primordial germ of the universe formed? And was there a specific trigger for this, or was it all just pure chance? The mysterious discoveries that the James Webb Telescope has been recording with almost regularity are also contributing to the deepening of the riddles of the cosmic world. Not only has Webb once again confirmed that the universe is expanding much faster in reality than our theories suggest, but it has also brought to light a whole series of early, inexplicably massive galaxies that push our standard model to its limits. And so it happens that more and more experts are turning away from the once untouchable Big Bang Theory and instead are looking for alternative explanations. And the most exciting of these is probably that our universe in truth does not even include the big picture, but slumbers inside a black hole. And here comes the kicker. This is by no means some highly speculative outsider theory, but a scenario that has now been given new fuel by Webb's discoveries. Are we living in a black hole? At first glance, you might think that the idea that we are inside a black hole couldn't be more absurd. After all, these bizarre structures are generally thought of as monstrous omnivores, as cosmic killing machines that literally destroy and devour everything. But the bottom line is that this is only part of the whole truth. On the one hand, black holes can be orbited by other celestial bodies on stable orbits without any problems. And on the other hand, we simply don't know what they really hide inside. And who knows, maybe we even get to see the invisible heart of the mass monsters every day. But what is this exciting assumption all about? Well, to understand this, we need to take a look at the work of a research team at Kansas State University. Led by Lior Shamir, the experts analyzed 263 early galaxies in the so-called Jade's Field which the James Webb Telescope had previously studied. And ultimately, the researchers came to the surprising conclusion that the majority of galaxies rotate in the same direction. In other words, while about two-thirds of the observed structures rotate clockwise, only one-third rotate in the opposite direction. 
This is a crucial finding because it contradicts our basic expectations. In a random cosmos, we would actually expect the directions of galaxy rotation to be evenly distributed. But since this is apparently not the case, explanations are needed. And basically, scientists at Kansas State University are discussing two possible approaches. The first is based on the ideas that we are simply dealing with the result of measurement errors. According to this, the so-called Doppler effect could cause galaxies that are moving towards us to appear brighter than those that are moving away from us. As a result, there could be a distortion in the measurements, making more galaxies visible in a certain direction of rotation than are actually present. The second theory, and this is the exciting one, says, however, that our universe itself originated in a black hole that already had its own rotation. According to the scientists, this idea is consistent with so-called Schwarzschild cosmology, which postulates that our entire cosmos embodies the interior of a black hole in a larger mother cosmos. In this context, each black hole would represent the gateway to a sub or baby universe, while the rotation of the original black hole influences the preferred direction of rotation of the galaxies in the newly created universe. Nikodem Poplowski explains, a preferred axis in our universe, inherited from the black hole's spin axis, could have influenced the rotational dynamics of the galaxies and produced the observed clockwise slash counterclockwise asymmetry. And if anyone is familiar with this topic, it is Nikodem Poplowski. After all, the theoretical physicist at the University of New Haven is not only convinced that we are inside a black hole, he would also like to have discovered how our universe was created in the belly of the mass monster. How the primordial seed of our cosmos burst open. Although it may sound surprising, the hypothesis that our universe exists inside a black hole is significantly older than the recent web discoveries. To be precise, the corresponding thesis was put forward as early as the 1970s by Raj Kumar Pathria and Irving John Good, and later developed by researchers such as Nikodem Poplowski. And before we go into this exciting theory in more detail, we should briefly return to Einstein to see what could actually be happening at the bottom of a black hole. An infinitely dense and infinitely small point can be calculated here. In other words, a singularity. However, this singularity also has a small but crucial problem, because in nature, such conditions and places simply do not exist. And even if the hypothetical concepts are ideally suited to theoretically decode most of the universe, they reach their limits when faced with the enormous forces that act, for example, inside a black hole. The same, however, also applies to the birth of our cosmos. Poplowski states that the matter that a black hole continuously absorbs is compressed inside it until it can no longer be compressed. The cosmic primal seed that is created in the process is perhaps unimaginably small. But, in contrast to the singularity, it is also real. According to the physicist, in detail, the process of compression comes to a halt because black holes rotate at an incredible speed while the object is rotating at almost the speed of light, extreme torsional forces act on the seed inside. So it's not only tiny and unimaginably massive, but in the same breath, also compressed and twisted. Now, it's conceivable that the seed proverbially bursts open, in the context of a process that Poplowski does not call the Big Bang, but the Big Bounce. Or in other words, a black hole could in fact represent the transitional state between two universes a kind of cosmic door that can only be passed through from one side. If a person were to fall into the interior of a black hole, they could unexpectedly find themselves in a completely different cosmos. Well, or at least the tattered parts that are left of them. At this point, Poplowski explicitly points out once again that this cosmic world is not located in our universe, because the black hole is merely the connecting piece. Applied to our universe, this means that we could be the result of a previous universe. And so, some 13.8 billion years ago, the seed of the mother cosmos, growing in the belly of the black hole, underwent its big bounce. And although the universe has been expanding relentlessly ever since, it is conceivable that we are still slumbering beyond the event horizon of a black hole. And what still lies beyond our video horizon is the subscribe button. Just click the thumbs up and subscribe now to never miss a new post from us again. See you soon.